Hello everyone, welcome to CX Carepro. Hi Emmanuel. Hi Laura. Thank you for joining us today. What is the topic we're going to talk about in this episode? So today we're going to talk about the experience economy, and to do that we are going to meet our senior leader healthcare practice in the United States, Diane Hopkins. What is the interest for extends to talk about this topic? Well, it is that today we are witnessing a new revolution, precisely. The customer experience revolution after the industrial revolution, the digital revolution. It's a subject that we are passionate about and that we are happy to make you discover with our partner. Let's meet right away Diane Hopkins. What opened your eyes to the fact that healthcare was ready for new approaches to improve care? Yeah, I was very blessed to be at a health system that uh, we figured out very early that too many other people were in charge of our future so that we could think we were doing all the best work and the best equipment and hiring the right people, but then outsiders could change our future. It could be the government, it could be insurance companies. And so when we were trying to figure out how do you get more control over your future as a healthcare organization, the answer was innovation. And how do we be more innovative? And at that time, when you looked at a hospital's innovation arm, it was really about technology assessment. And that's not what we were looking at. We wanted to look at how do you take 10,000 employees and make them more innovative? Because they know things about the customer, they know things about the physicians that the senior leaders don't know. They're just not there. And so that set me out on a journey on how to innovate and how to build a more innovative workforce. And when you're not a factory and you're not making widgets, the way you innovate is to go from a service to an experience. And so my marketing background then expanded through an innovation background, and I was very blessed to learn from organizations outside of healthcare who have been applying innovation tools for many, many years. Very blessed to be exposed to those. And then as we realized we needed to innovate to move from a service to an experience, that's when I got deeper into the experience economy. I was certified as an experience economy expert. And we started to then take tools from other industries and bring them into healthcare. What leads you to begin to focus on the healthcare experience? Well, I started out in healthcare marketing. And uh, as hospitals progressed in marketing, uh, you could be doing all the right things in your, your leadership at a hospital. You could hire the right people, buy the right technology, be on the cutting edge, and then somebody from outside your organization could change your future by saying this isn't reimbursed tomorrow, the government, it could be an insurer. And so when we were frustrated with too many people being in charge of our future, and we wondered how might we future-proof our organization. And to do that, we found out many other industries developed innovation arms. And at that time, innovation in hospitals and providers of healthcare was really about technology assessment. And that was not what we were looking for. We already had that covered. We wanted to see how to take 11,000 employees and have them all be more innovative at their workplace, whether they were at the bedside or wherever they might be in the hospital. And so we had to learn how might we improve our innovation competencies. And frankly, personally, I can't imagine an experience that's more important in that these are the most scary and meaningful times in people's lives. They hand their children to us. They hand their elderly parents to us. Or they, you know, walk a path themselves that could be life or death. So that experience needs to be exceptional. Uh, one difference in how I've worked on this over many years is exceptional experiences in healthcare should not just be about getting in quickly or having a cookie before you leave. At first, it must be safe. It must be rooted in safety because if we don't uh, perform surgery on the right limb, none of the other uh, experiential support works and matters. How are marketing and consumer experience strategies linked in healthcare? As I started out uh, in my work in healthcare, I was looking at marketing. And we could spend in any hospital in the United States or in Europe, we can spend a whole lot of money communicating our services to the market. That could be through traditional advertising, through social media. So many ways we invest in trying to let customers, patients know what we have to offer. But we could do a great job with that, and then they show up at the hospital, and the experience is bad. 
And in that case, I'd rather save the money on the front end. We can't have a brand promise that goes through our people and then we fail when they come in and have the actual experience. So if we're going to spend lots of money and invest time and energy in saying we're the most friendly hospital in the world and then they show up and we certainly were not the friendly hospital. That connection between the brand and the ultimate experience is what I've spent a lot of my time on because I saw mismatches with that where things were not aligned. And so to make sure that the investment is worthy and make sure that what we've promised is really delivered is where making sure the entire enterprise understands the importance of patient experience and the importance of every staff member's influence. Otherwise, if the brand promise is not aligned with the experience, uh, we need to step back and save our money and be quiet until we figure that out. How were you inspired to be a pioneer in enhancing patient experiences in the U.S.? My initial inspiration for digging deeper into patient experience was looking at when the marketing messaging or the brand was not consistent with the actual experience. That's what opened my eyes initially. And then I was very blessed to be exposed to some of the best thought leaders in the world, people like Tom Peters, Pine and Gilmore, who wrote The Experience Economy, IDEO, a wonderful innovation strategy company. So I was very blessed to learn from people like that who opened my eyes and built my skills. And then one of the biggest inspirations was when my father was diagnosed with dementia and I became his core caregiver. And I got to see a very different perspective of what goes well, what doesn't go well, and all that was possible from the caregiver side of things. And so I had all that different kind of inspiration from personal experience and business development and some very smart people I got to hang out with. <laughs>